Welcome to The Terrible Take, mini podcast telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Alex Kazora. By now, you know Mike Tomlin received a three-year extension that will carry him through at least the 2024 season. The length of that deal isn't the coincidence. Tomlin is seen as the leader, the face, the stabilizing force as the Steelers enter a brave new world without Big Ben and Kevin Colbert. That transition could begin as soon as 10, 11 months from now, and the Steelers are probably right to make that call in regards to Tomlin. But it also has me wondering, is Tomlin's job security airtight until then? It's hard to see any scenario where he's fired over the next three, four seasons. And to be clear, I'm not saying he should be. I've been as disappointed as anyone over the last decade's lackluster results. However, I'm not calling for his head, nor am I saying his seat is currently on fire. But shouldn't it be warm, like heated seat in an entry-level Mercedes warm? You know, just a little bit. Even if this team tanks the next season or two, it doesn't seem like there's a scenario where Tomlin is let go. No one can predict the future, but this extension is built around him being the leader into the great unknown with a new quarterback and new GM. No matter how these next couple of seasons go, it's doubtful the Steelers will have an appetite to find a new head coach, too. Tomlin sort of has college professor tenure. He's untouchable. And maybe, hopefully, his job status won't ever be in question. If the Steelers are competitive, make the playoffs, and winning a playoff game would be nice— and this whole conversation is irrelevant. But let's play out an ugly-looking scenario. With a worse roster and an improving AFC North, the Steelers limp to an 8-9 finish in the 17-game 2021 schedule. Ben retires, Colbert leaves with him, in teetering on rebuilding mode, the Steelers again struggle in 2022. It's even worse, and they finish 6-11. Tomlin's never-had-a-losing-season claim goes up in smoke. Now his seat is going to look really warm. But I still don't think they fire him or even really consider it because their plan is to have Tomlin be the bridge from this era to the next. Maybe that will be the right move. It's hard to criticize the team for things in the future that haven't happened yet. Pittsburgh's patience has paid off before with Noel, Cower, and even Tomlin. This is just a heads up to Steelers Nation. Store those pitchforks away. They're not going to be of use for at least a couple more years. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every weekday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast with myself and Dave Bryan every Tuesday and Friday.